So um, we're going to do a 1920s pin curl look for the flapper look that we're going to be doing later. Um, so you will need a boat ton of bobby pins. Because literally the reason why it's called pin curls is because of bobby pins. A hair tie, comb, and your hair needs to be not soaking wet but pretty damp. And just so you know, if you are in a more humid climate, you need to do this earlier in the night or expect more time to dry just because the hair doesn't dry as well as it does in dry climates. So the first thing you're going to do is take and section your hair um, because you want to get that short bobbed look. So you're going to take and section your hair um, like the top shorter portions like this. Because this is the part up here that you're actually going to do the pin curls. What you're going to do with this longer stuff is braid it into your head. So you're going to do a pretty tight French braid across the back, across the back of your scalp like this. That way your hair will be pinned up properly. So, get to braid it. And you can have someone else do it if you're not pretty good at braiding. Um, it just depends. But anytime you want to bob your hair up, you have to braid this section in. What I normally do is braid to one side of my head, take and then braid to the other side of my head just because it'll hold it up better. So, and if you have to do it a couple of times, don't worry about it just because it's weird braiding the back back of your head, like the person that connects to your, the nape of your neck. And once you're done braiding, you're going to have a little tail if your hair is long like mine. I mean, if your hair is short, then you don't have to do this step, but I obviously don't have short hair. so. And you don't necessarily need to rubber tie, uh, hair tie this off. It just makes it stay better. So, okay. So, once you've got your hair all braided up in the back and pinned up, you're going to start actually doing the pin curls. I generally like to do it kind of the way you would actually curl your hair. So, you would either do front to back or back to front, and then the sides. And that just seems to make it easier neater, all that kind of stuff. So you're going to section out your hair, same as you would like if you were straightening it. And you're going to take a section of hair, depending on how big you want your curls, it's how, big, how much hair you take obviously. Run a comb through it. And for this I would actually recommend having fairly damp hair, just because if it's not then your hair won't curl. Right. So then you're going to take it, wrap it around your fingers, twist it till it's flat with your head. Like, well, I'll show you on a front piece. Flat with your head. You're going to take a bobby pin, pin that little dude down, and you're going to let it dry like that. So basically, you would want to do that to your entire head that's, you know, the hair that's not put up. And it can be a little bit time consuming. If your hair gets dry while you're in the process, um, spray some water on it or wet it. I, I don't have a spray bottle, so I just ended up using my hands in the sink. So, And then you are going to do that to your whole head. Okay, so here we have the finished product. Um, I would find any little guys that are sticking up like this and I would just take a little I would take a bobby pin and pin them down that way they dry flat I, you know I hate it when bobby pins they do that weird thing like that I hate it, it drives me insane but anyway they dry flat And um, I'm going to sleep on this just because that's 
how I prefer to do it. You can do this early in the morning and then take it all down right before you go out. If you're really good and have the right size barrel, you can curl your hair with a curling iron or a straightener if you can do that. I can't curl my hair with a straightener to save my life. But um, I don't. And plus this is kind of cool. It makes it more authentic in a way. And then you will take it down later once it's all dry and you want the hair to be really dry because if not the curls are going to fall out faster than they normally would or they're not going to be curled up and you'll have to pin them up and that's a pain in the butt. But I will see you guys in the morning when I am ready to take this out. Good night. So I don't know what made me think that having the microphone side down wouldn't affect the fact that you could hear me. But anyway, so as you can see, I've started taking some of my pin curls down. And um, when you do this, you want to make sure your hair is pretty much dry. And you just go through and you want to do it pretty uniformly. That way you don't miss any curls. And have like this random bald spot in the middle of your head. And so you just keep going. And you're going to look a little bit like Shirley Temple at the beginning, but that's okay. You want that. And I'm going to finish taking these out. So now they're all out. And I just ran my fingers through them a little bit. You can see I have a couple that are like really long in the back, but that's okay. And then for the final hair accessory, you want to get like a spangly head, stretchy headband thing. Just kind of put it over the top. Tuck your hair how you want it. You can pull some out on the side like that if you can get it to work. If you look at a lot of the pictures that's how the women wore their hair. There you go, you're a flapper. <laughs>